welcome back to another meal prep day. Today I am going to do a small meal prep. I'm just going to do some roasted potatoes, some roasted sweet potatoes. I'll prep some kale for the week. Then I'm gonna do some green lentils, a good batch of rice, and today I'm going to be making my own hazelnut milk. I'm so excited to go ahead and get cooking, so let's get started. So here's an easy tip if you're having trouble cutting through your sweet potatoes. Just press the knife down, make sure you have it nice and solid, and kind of rock it back and forth. You can get through some of the thickest sweet potatoes doing this, and it just makes it so easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my slap chop for my garlic and shallots today. I am going to distribute the garlic and shallots amongst my sweet potatoes, my potatoes, and my lentils. So I'm gonna make quite a bit and then just put them in each of those dishes. Okay, my veggies are ready to go in the oven. Um, I am going to roast them for about 35 minutes at 350 degrees. While those are in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my rice and my lentils. So my rice is on the stove top and my lentils are in my instant pot. I'm gonna go ahead and prep my kale and then we'll get started on my hazelnut milk. So I have my kale that I washed a little bit earlier. I am just going to be pulling it off of the stems and breaking it into small manageable chunks. I really love to do this so that I have some leafy greens on hand throughout the week. Putting it in a container with a paper towel on the bottom and the top keeps it nice and fresh. Here's a good nutrition tip when it comes to your leafy greens as a vegan. Using something like lemon juice or lime juice, basically anything with vitamin C with your leafy greens, will help you absorb the iron better. So, so try it next time you use them. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my hazelnut milk. I have these hazelnuts that I've been soaking for about seven hours or so. This is three quarters of a cup of hazelnuts and three cups of water, three and a half cups of water. Like I said, it's been soaking for about seven hours. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this all together and I'm gonna add just a half a teaspoon of vanilla in it because I want it nice and sweet. I'm really excited to use this for my coffee. I love hazelnut coffee and I've been just thinking and dreaming of having hazelnut milk with my hazelnut coffee. So let's go ahead and blend this together and then we'll get straining it to make it milk. Oh, it smells amazing. So my hazelnut milk is perfectly blended and it smells so nice. So I have kind of set up here. So I have a large bowl to pour it in. You need to strain this very carefully. So I have a mash sieve, sieve, sieve. You tell me, is it sieve or is it sieve? Comment down below and let me know. I'm also putting a coffee filter in place of a cheesecloth in the bottom of it. So I'm gonna pour my uh, milk mixture through the coffee filter and through the mesh, <laughs> and then we'll have milk. 
Uh, this is going to be a bit of a slow process. We're going to pour it really slowly, let it all pour through, and then pour more. So I'm pretty sure the rest of my meal prep will be done while I'm still pouring this. Okay, so I have my meal prep, I have my prepared kale, I have lentils, roasted sweet potatoes and potatoes, and I have my rice. My hazelnut milk is taking longer to strain than I thought, but I will go ahead and put an image of it right about here so you can see what it looks like when it's all done. Note from Future Aim, when it comes to the hazelnut milk, you can't just let it passively drain have to push it through. I waited so long for it to just drip on its own, but you really have to like stir it and push it through. I think next time I'll use a cheesecloth. I love meal prepping like this where you have bits and pieces that you can put together to make a full meal. So I'm really excited to go out throughout the week eating all these really delicious foods and making meals with them. So let me go ahead and show you a few examples of some things you can put together using these ingredients and a couple extra things. Well, that's it for me. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.